our ego, the egos of modern people will be their downfall. We'll pave the road to perdition. Although we are often smug and self-satisfied and bemused, satisfied with thoughts of how cultured, educated, and modern the developed world has become, although we're all excited about artificial intelligence and the digital matrix in general, it is abundantly clear that within the areas of religion and spiritual spirituality and general just gnosis of the world beyond the five senses that only terrible ignorance in fact fanaticism fundamentalism fanaticism reigns is omnipotent that is what is omnipotent that i'm picking up on because people are generally materialistic generally though we do not want to admit it but it is true most people are enamored with the material world of harmonic universe number one and nevertheless though the basis or the center of gravity that the majority of us define ourselves with and hang our actions upon is how it will affect the material world the, the corporeal world the corporal world the world of materiality and secondly how others will perceive it, our ego, how our ego assesses its status, standing. Our psychology, our whole life revol revolves around the material, sensual world. And if we have nothing else, then indeed materialism is all that we have to base our actions upon. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> here is a um, <clears throat> video where a <clears throat> Joe Rogan, a well-known talk show person or podcast person, um, I think he lives here in Austin, Texas, too. But anyway, there's he's interviewing this guy called the Python Hunter. Uh, he's like a wildlife person down in Florida who's out in this huge, <clears throat> I guess, abandoned sort of land area where there's a lot of abandoned buildings and whatnot. And the python hunter is explaining to Joe Rogan that, you know, he's been out there a time or two in the past. And there's all this evidence of, you know, criminal activity uh, from this all kinds of stuff. You you know, I'll leave the link for the video. but the point is that the point I want to make with this video is that <clears throat> and the mat the material world is really the lowest world it is the most common world it is the typical world it is the world that the lazy people are most familiar with maybe that's the wrong word but those who have not investigated through one means or another, through one reason or another, that the reality beyond the five senses and what those dimensions mean to this lowest physical manifestation, to this lowest emanation of reality that only the five senses are able to detect. <clears throat> Most people are just caught up in materialism. And so you get these people and this guy is a christian fundamentalist and, and to me i can't stand watching this guy or hear him talk because it's the same it's the same dynamic that you see with like gun gun owners and in particular new gun owners are just people that really have no have not made the connection between guns being a tool and what they are capable of doing and how easy it is for them to do what they're designed to do, which is take away life. And so you see within gun, the gun owning community or gun owners, 
which I tend to view as their own worst enemy as far as the pr preservation of gun rights, the Second Amendment, which is a divine right. It, it's not for, about hunting. It is, was put in place to guard against tyranny. And so, but you see gun owners, and in, in, in particular male gun owners, with this machismo and this like childlike kid, uh, kid energy, immature sort of inner energy, you know, oh, we're going to the range, the shooting range, and it's all this kind of, there's a disconnect there. And so I'm trying to make the correlation between that type of community and what you see with guys like this in this uh, uh, Christian, fundamentalist Christian community where they're like got this smug sort of self-satisfied like oh the normies like joe rogan are now beginning to wake up and realize that hey demons are real so that makes everything about that justifies everything about my fundamentalist christian religion uh okay and right because see i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about with these comments um you see this uh, comment right here god's coming after joe been saying it for years joe's one of us well i don't i mean that's just that's the kind of statement that i'm talking about and of course that doesn't explicitly state you know i'm a fundamentalist christian but joe's one of us it's a it's a it's still a mentality of separation and like i said i'll leave this video it's a pretty interesting video but essentially what i want to make the point about is that um um yeah fundamentalist christians uh th their paradigm and 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 all this stuff um just because it has it in the bible doesn't make uh as far as the reality of, of the spiritual reality of of our existence beyond the five senses uh it doesn't justify what all they're about which is because in my estimation that those types of organizations are uh are the house of demons and Satan has been doing his work through those, through the Christian church. Yeah, down, downvote this video, unsubscribe my channel. But, but the Christian church is is nothing is anything but the, about the message of the original Christ, and more so about control and gaslighting the truth. And, but what I'm the final point that I want to make with this video is, yes, there is a there is a, a, a reality beyond the five senses that involves what we understand as spiritual. But where Christianity and organized Christianity and organized religion in general, in particular, the religions of the book, the Aramaic religions, Judaism, Islam, Christianity, they are control paradigms. So what they do is, is they they capitalize upon fear and ignorance. And so you're going to see, you know, well, this, that Christian guy is like, oh, yeah, yeah, demons are real and don't play with Ouija boards. And, you know, we've known this all along. And now Joe Rogan's going to come along. He's going to be one of us. <clears throat> Ultimately, and this is my estimation, the world of demons, angels and all that, you know, th those are anthropomorphic renderings concept or perceptions of that world of that higher world which is involving energy now the asians and in particular the taoist they have it they have it ultimately the most correct the yin and yang the positive and the negative polarity so what happens is is there's a very natural dynamic to this world of positive and negative polarity so Angels, positive polarity, demons, negative polarity. Those are anthropomorphic renderings of that concept of energy. So when you get a bunch of people who begin to wake up to the fact that there is a dynamic higher dimensions to this reality that we experience, and then they begin to view the unseen world as populated by ooh, demons, uh, then, it's, then it's just more of this perpetuation of ignorance and a certain control that is put in place by those who claim to know, but they've all they've done is is capitalized upon human ignorance and given these 
natural dynamics of the of the world, the negative and positive polarities, these anthropomorphic spins, uh, especially in particularly with the negative polarity in the demons, which has served to keep people uh, in bondage and fear and ignorance, and so they're they're more likely to turn their power over to the Christian church because those are the experts. No, they're not the experts. They're just the con people who are manipulating others through their ignorance. That's why knowledge is power. That's why it is, it is every day you must wake up in gratitude. You must wake up with the attitude that you are fundamentally thrilled to be alive, to have another day to figure this all out for yourself, because ultimately you must be your own expert. You must figure this out for yourself and empower yourself. And so, and, and, and yeah, demons and angels and all that, and, and UAPs, are they demons exist and all that stuff. Everything is meant to be discerned through your heart complex. And you will, and, and, and I'm not in this statement, these statements are not meant to um, say that there's not a source of all creation and there's not an order to that source of creation. It's just that here on this very f lower level of physicality in harmonic universe number uh, one and dimension three, where by and large people only interpret their reality through their five senses, there is a lot of manipulation and disempowerment of individuals taking place. And here at the Umbanda New Earth Ashram, for compassion and strength and light gnosis, we aim to get to the bottom of this and uncover uh, and empower our fellow humans to rise into the dimension two harmonic, I mean, sorry, harmonic universe number two, although dimension two is cool. We don't want to be rocks for the rest of our life. We want to rise into harmonic universe number two, dimension five, and ultimately into dimension six. Because what, what else is taking place is there's a lot of very uh, powerful things taking place with this equinox energies coming up, providing the opportunity to balance our masculine and feminine aspects. And our own darkness, our own negative polarity and, and light, to harmonize our shadow, which is how it's been described because, you know, we've lived in this sort of, uh, at least here in this Western Christian sort of world, you know, with demonizing with demons and shadows. But the time is now to integrate it into our whole and complete self. Okay. And we do that through no, through gnosis and knowledge and hitting that subscribe button. Namaste. Namaskaram.